All right, hello YouTube. We're gonna be playing another PBE game. So today, ooh, start with a golem with an unstable treasure chest. Let's try this out. Uh, so this is the new set that's coming out. We're just trying our best to learn new comps as well as try out all the different units. So we're gonna be playing a bunch of PBE games. The first ones are gonna be a little bit rocky as you probably have seen on my channel, but you know, as we get better at understanding the units, we'll improve and hopefully this is a good learning experience leading up to set 12. So you guys start with uh, knowing a little bit about the set. So, uh, these aren't going to be VOD reviews, it's just me talking while I'm playing live, so, you know, we'll just try our best with it. Alright. Maybe this is going to be an Eldritch game? We'll see. Uh, we're going to try and play something uncontested and maybe force towards it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I can try Vertical Eldritch to see how much the Eldritch Beast thing kind of matters and stuff. Uh, we can also play maybe, like, Chrono. I want to try and pick a Vertical Train and go for it. So far, we tried out, uh, Sugarcraft, we tried out... The other one, right? We haven't tried out the bees yet, uh, but we'll see. Portal, portal, portal. How many portals do we need to make a portal trait? You need three. Maybe we can try a portal. We'll see what we hit. Um, I still want to try the uh, the Warwick reroll, but we'll see how that goes when we get it. Oh, Warwick? Maybe we do do a Warwick reroll. We have Eldritch and Warwick pretty pretty handily available. Um, I'm gonna sell you. I'm just gonna buy you. Uh, we have two Twitches. We have a Jace with Shapeshifter. So we can build like a pretty strong board like this. Shapeshifter is like what the new bruisers are, if I'm not mistaken. So that's how we play this and this, and then one off Eldritch. This guy is also Portal, so I want to hold on to Portal. I don't necessarily want to do Multi Striker, but maybe I can play around Warwick, but then I want to hold Vanguard. Hmm. Okay, it looks like that guy's already forcing a Warwick reroll, so... I guess Warwick reroll is a thing. I guess people... Like, I thought it would be a thing, and I think everybody seems to be playing towards it a lot. Uh, whenever a mage casts a spell, they grant 5 mana to the nearest ally. You know, Soraka and a Galio. I mean, I'm probably leading more towards Eldritch. Which, what items does she want? Transforms into a spider. Uh, pumping up just seems good in general, right? Stand United? Probably not. I don't think I'm making like a jazzy board. I'm playing a vertical if I can. Uh, vertically inclined. Your team heals 8% more damage. 16 if you have non-unique active traits than your opponent. I'm kind of down for this. Ooh. Too tanky. It's like too healthy. I'm kind of down for this. And I'm just going to play like a vertical like singular trait, right? Which I'm probably going to try and play uh, Eldritch. If I can. It doesn't look like anybody's playing Eldritch, so we'll try that. I'm not going to slam anything just yet. But we'll probably just go for like Eldritch reroll of some sort. I mean, I don't have to necessarily sell these. So let's just put in all the Eldritch units and we'll just play Eldritch reroll. Right? Nobody has Eldritch in or is holding Eldritch units to my knowledge, right? So we'll just try and play like Eldritch Reroll, because I think with Vertically Inclined, it makes a lot of sense here. Okay, so let's put in all the Eldritch units. So this is the, like, the, the trait where you get, like, a bunch of... Uh, you get, like, the summon, basically. That's all the Eldritch units, right? So we're literally just playing Vertical Eldritch. And I deal 16% more damage if I have less traits in. Okay, so Ash seems like an auto attacker. Um, I mean, a generic tank gun would probably be good. Blightening Jewel. I'm not sure if Blightening Jewel does anything. I'm kind of down for Gambler's Blade. And I'll just be like auto attacking Ash. Right? Because at least if I generate Econ, then I'll be able to reroll all my Eldritch units. That's my thought process right here. You know what I mean? Um, I kind of want to field nothing. Actually, I could just field something. Whatever. Let's just put a frontline unit in. Right? Two trades, one trade. 
Oh, this guy looks like he's re-rolling Eldritch or something. I don't know. I mean, it should be very obvious that I'm Vertical Eldritch. So, like, you know, we're going to reroll probably on level 6, right? Then we could just play a random extra frontline trade if we feel like it. This guy got Frost Chrono. Okay, so he's just playing Frost. Okay, so I get a Golem here, which is pretty cool. This is like a really bad counter matchup for me. Okay, I gain a gold, which is good. Now I can make econ. Uh, we like making econ. We're just gonna we're just gonna play Eldritch. If somebody contests me, they contest me. It is what it is. Uh, what's Ash's second thing? Like the multi striker. So maybe we can fit in multi striker. So we'll just play multi striker Ash carry for much of the game, and then we'll just reroll and hopefully the Eldritch Beast is strong enough to like do some work. At least that's my thought process, right? Um, I don't see any of these units being Eldritch units, so I think I'll just take a uh, another bow. So I'll take a three cost bow. Uh, she scales off her attack speed, right? For the next six seconds, Ash fires an extra missile dealing physical damage at a target near Ash. This affects stacks. All right. We'll make as much econ as possible, and we'll probably just reroll on level, on level six, right? Because level six, I can go for Nyla and Syndra. And if I'm going like Nyla reroll, maybe I play Pyro. I could probably play Pyro with these units, right? Um, these two are just going to be extra units after, so we don't have to worry too much about them. But it does hit our threshold of seven Eldritch, which is what we're trying to go for. Um, ooh, this guy's potions two hundred one, which curses last forever. Ooh, that's kind of. It's kind of scary, and this guy's gonna go, uh. Looks like he's gonna go Cassiopeia reroll. I mean, this Ash unit with these items seems really strong. She's definitely like an auto attacker. I'm down for red buff on her, um, or Last Whisper, but I think probably red buff is a little bit better. I'm not really hitting any copies of them. I literally have just one star everything, which kind of sucks for me. Nobody seems to be playing Eldritch though. So hopefully I'm fine. I'm also winning fights while maxing my econ, which is kind of funny. Or a little bit funny to me. She's a warrior multi-striker. So it's definitely like play Akali, right? I definitely want to be playing a Kali, and if I'm playing a Kali, I want to be playing um, somebody else, right? It's probably a Kali Nasus or a Kali. Uh, who's the other one? Shen. What is Shen? Shen is a Bastion. There's no Bastion synergy, but if I'm playing a Kali, maybe I don't want to. Like, I, stacking Pyro is good, but I'm this vertically inclined trait, so like I don't think I want to play Pyro because I'd rather just like you know. I'd rather just get value off of my uh, my augment, right? And just do 16% more damage. And just play Vertical Eldritch. Nice, another Ash. That's huge for us. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of scared about Krugs. Maybe I just level and play an extra unit. Random one cost. There's probably a second Ash is probably better. Okay. Can make Econ again. That's great for me. Uh, maybe I make Runans. Um, if I make Runans and I have Sterex. I also have a Bloodthirster for my frontline unit if I want. Ooh, a Gwen early. I wish I had that the other time. Uh, gain a target dummy for one round. Zero dollars. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm down. Um, what's another Gwen item I can... Or another this unit item I can make? Uh, probably like Even Shroud. What do Eldritch units deal, right? Like, what does this guy deal? He deals magic damage and stuns them. So, I don't think it synergizes well to do like an Even Shroud here. So I'd rather make something else. Uh, this unit, like, she basically just attacks a bunch, right? I'm kind of down for the pepper spray and just do all of that. 
Uh, but you know, it's hard to tell what I should go right now in terms of items. I think the problem is I don't know like the later Eldritch units exactly what they want. So I'd rather like level to six, roll a little bit, try and stabilize, and then see what I want to play. Yeah, so I'll like pre-level here a little bit so I don't have to pump as much next turn. I'm probably not playing Gwen. Like Gwen would be good for like the middle game, but I don't want to put too many traits in, right? Because I'm vertically inclined. So I always want to be a little bit weaker than the other people. Like, I always want to be, like, less verticals than the other people. Uh, blinding speed. Your team gets larger, gaining 305% th uh, max health. Uh, Rascal Gloves. Final Ascension. Gain a Randuin's Omen. Its range is increased by 1. Its effect is increased by 70. Oh, Prismatic Ticket for sure. Rolling until around 30. Let's get multi striker. I have Nyla in, so I can play Nyla with this. Maybe I just play a Kali reroll from this spot. Like, the problem is my vertically inclined doesn't get value. Also, somebody else playing Eldritch. I thought I saw an Eldritch somewhere. No, this is just Druid. Oh, god. Like, I don't want to put in too many traits. Like, maybe I just put in Pyro instead and I start trying to stack Pyro. Because, like, I can make, like, a really strong board here, right? Do I have... I don't have the last Eldritch unit, right? Because I need Mordekaiser. My world is also kind of shit. I don't know if I just missed a bunch of units. Let's put a Kali and let's put a uh, Shen in here just in case. So I'll Hecrom. Like, Ari is probably really good as well, because I'll have a lot of 3 stars, but... Ooh, an Eldritch Emblem? Is with a belt. Nah, I'm not getting that. Uh, Varus is Blaster. Okay, somebody took the Eldritch unit. Kind of down for just Deathblade here on Ash. I'll just reroll it. Because I'm going for 3-star Ash for sure, right? Like, I have 4 traits in. The problem is, like, I'm vertically inclined, so I don't think... I think having 4 traits in here is, is way worse than... Than, uh... Not. Okay, I'm 5 Eldritch. This is probably a little bit better. It has 2,000 health right now. I'm generating a lot of gold. So I'm probably just going to stay on level 6 and just reroll everything to a 3 star. That I can. Not finding a Mordekaiser though is kind of rough. Do 
I want to itemize Nami? Probably not. I probably itemize the other low cost unit. Like, how much damage is a Kali even doing? She's doing, like, nothing. Right? Like, who cares? I'll just play Vertical Eldritch. I'll just star up everybody. And then I probably want to level to 7 and just use all my rules on 7. Because now I'm just missing a Briar, but I can play anybody. Okay, well this guy's strong as shit. So my other elders you need Briar? Do I just make Briar items? Like the problem is I have zero chance of finding seven Eldritch on this level, but I wanna hit all of these units upgraded. Right? But I think I just level to seven because with Prismatic Ticket, if I eventually find a Briar, I, I spike by a lot, right? And I'll just reroll for everybody on seven odds because it just sucks that I have an ash too as my carry that I don't have any ash items or that I don't have any ashes but I think it's really bad if I just stay on this level I really want to try rolling because if I hit a briar I just win out right that's like my thought process at least so I'm just gonna push levels at this point um a lot. Eldritch Emblem. Seven Eldritch. Um... I'll just make Briar items. Right? Is it a Volibear? Uh, that that one seems broken. You just get a you just get a free uh, a free item. Okay, I have only Eldritch, and imagine if I get like some Eldritch trait, that would be so sick. Stormbringer, I need three emblems, right? So I don't, I, and I have to be level ten. That's a little bit far off. But I'm basically, just gonna star up everybody. If you don't know, with this with this uh, trait, it's like the summon, and it gains health and ability power for every uh, unit that you put in. Three's a crowd. I don't have that many three cost. Um, not today. Gain that edge of night. Champions holding this game. Thirty-five percent attack speed. I mean, I don't think it's that great for me. Oh, the Eldritch summoning holding beneficial items. The summon gains ten health and twenty ability power. Gain an Elise and a Syndra. Okay, well, GG. That's that. I probably would need a frontline unit instead of this. Also, I'm rolling a little bit deep here. I was kind of looking for an upgrade. Oh, this is how people get the backline carry thing. Yeah, I am strong as shit now. I just need to hit some three stars, right? Every, every upgrade I hit kind of spikes my board by a little bit. And then I have this Eldritch plus one. It's kind of useless because I'm not playing anything more than Eldritch. Okay. 
So it would be like a frontline. Like, who's doing the most damage, right? It's my Eldritch Beast. By far. There's one guy with two traits, so I kind of want to stay with just one trait, if I'm being honest here. Uh, I would like to put a frontline unit instead of this unit, but it is what it is. And then I can also itemize this, uh, the Syndra, maybe over the Ash. Like, I can swap my items over if, uh, I don't hit anything. This guy's a three-star something. Okay, is this guy, like, Giga Frost of some sort? Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. You got a three-star Ice Soldier. 1300 HP. I mean, that's fine. I probably want a something. I want like a tier so I can make a shiv, if I'm being honest here. Nice. Tier, make a shiv, because everybody deals shiv damage. I'll put it on this unit. I need to hit a three star. Not hitting a three star is pretty awkward. Hello, 17 Ren. Uh, thank you for the follow. So I want like a, a frontline unit at one point. Like, this is supposed to be my Briar, right? And then I can drop somebody else. But I don't have any 3 stars, which kind of sucks. Like, I think I should have had Ash 3 star ahead of time, but I just didn't find any Ashes. I'm playing, like, really forcing line. But, like, I'm not even close to any of them, right? I kind of have to send it to 0, maybe. And I have Prismatic Ticket, so I should have hit something, right? How's the new set? You don't have a PBE account? It's looking interesting. I like the set. I really don't like the set mechanic because I feel like it's just so hard to deal with. So I don't know how I feel entirely about the set, but I really like the traits and the units, right? So when I'm looking at the set, like the traits and the units all seem really interesting and fun. And that's a big part that I had a problem with with set 11. Like set 11 was okay, but I was even when they first released it, I wasn't really interested about any of the traits, right? Like all the units and stuff, I was like, yeah, these all seem kind of boring to me which is more like a, a flavor of taste. I feel like this one, all of them are like spicy and cool. Uh, but it, it has to see how it plays out, obviously. Also, why is this guy contesting Eldritch all of a sudden? Did he just decide to just buy all of these units? That's why I'm not hitting anything. I don't get sometimes. It's PBE. Why am I being hard contested? Next combat, your Eldritch Rot God gains 10% thing and 10% on takedown. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. One gold. I'm down. Uh, I don't want to put in anybody. I, I need like a better frontline unit, honestly. Ooh, this might be good to put in, maybe. Well, I need to hold these, though. Well, I'm not going for Nami 3, probably. Yeah. I think, um, I think I'm really excited about it, but I think I still have to see, you know what I mean? I don't understand PBE though, because, like, I was wondering why I wasn't hitting. I don't understand why somebody is holding on to a bunch of Eldritch units. Like, he's not gonna die, because he's, like, he has, like, he made, like, di triple, like, good items. But it's like, what is this? Like, you saw that I'm, like, I'm playing Eldritch with Prismatic Ticket, and he's just holding a bunch of units. I feel like it just diminishes a lot of what I'm trying to do here, which is learn the set, right? I'm trying to see how strong some of these units are. But it's like, how am I supposed to know now? Also, it sucks that everybody has such little traits. So the reason I'm not playing a better unit here is because I have this that's called Vertically Inclined. And I want to have, I want to deal 16% bonus damage, right? So I'm basically like sacking my vertical traits because I don't want to deal bonus da I want to deal more bonus damage. But it kind of sucks because like there's some people like, you know, if they had like two traits in, like these guys with three traits, there's like one guy with two traits. Or there used to be. Maybe he fixed it. So it's like I can't play anything. It feels kind of rough. Um, Well, this is awkward now because I don't want to sell anybody. I'm probably the furthest off Elise. 
Oh god, I'm furthest off of Ash actually. But I don't want to sell any of these units. I'm like I'm like equidistant from everybody. But Ash is my main carry, so I think I just gotta drop Elise. Grab this item. Um I'm down to just make like Is there any way I can make a mana item on this unit? Probably not, right? So I'm down to just make like JG and just figure it out. Take a sword. But yeah. I, I should have hit something by now, but because somebody's holding all my units, I don't think I hit, which is kind of sucks. You don't really know you like the new mechanic. I don't like it because some of these are really fucking broken. Like some of these are actually god awful. And like if somebody hits it, the thing is like you can wait till the last second to buy it. So you can't even play around it. So there's like one where it's like teleport one of your units to the back line. It's like, how do you position around that? It's like somebody's just going to like hit something and then you're just going to be dead. And it's like, oh, okay, my bad. You know what I mean? Uh, it's those ones that I have problems with. Okay, I'm one off Ash now. Oh, God. Okay, I think I have to buy the Syndra. Because then I'm one off Syndra. Like, what the fuck? I just sold the Nyla. Like, I, I can't hit anything. This sucks. I'm so sad. Because I can't gauge my power level. Like, I don't know how strong Eldritch Beast is. Because it looks like I'm giga strong. But, like, I feel like I'm just getting trolled. See, like, do I beat this guy if I had a, a single upgrade? Maybe. Like, if this guy gets a third item, like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm stronger. No? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll see how it goes. Maybe that guy will die soon. Hopefully. I don't think so though. I think he has more HP than me. Right? Yeah, I think he has more HP than me. Isn't this the guy? No, it's somebody else. This round, the next champion you buy is free. Well. <laughs> Alright, finally, we're online. We're online. I have to sell all my Nylas, but it's fine. Next combat stun en all enemies for 2 seconds. I mean, that's really good, but I don't think I need it right now. Okay, we can start buying. Whatever. We'll just do this. Okay, I have some 3 stars, so now my Eldritch Beast upgraded by a lot. So that's pretty good for me. I can probably start pushing levels now. But it just sucks, because I, I should have had Nyla 3 as well. But I don't have it. And I would have upgraded my guy by a lot more. It's okay. We'll see how strong this is now. The beast looks good. I also have an augment though. Um, Eldritch units look kind of weak. I don't think the Eldritch units are weak. I think like it's hard to say because they're going to balance this every three days. For the next two weeks, there's going to be at least like 10 patches that balance the units. So it's really difficult to know exactly how it will turn out. Uh, Elise looks really fucking broken. I think Elise is very strong. Like sh I think she's like one of the best tanks. She like lives forever. Right, I didn't get to hit Elise 3 this game, but I'm pretty sure Elise is, like, busted. Like, really busted. Um, I'll probably just take Crown Guard from Mordekaiser. That seems like a good idea. Because he's going to be my next 3-star. Um, Elise seems really good. Uh, I'm not sure about... Ash was really strong early game, so I think Ash is pretty strong for a 1-cost. Uh, I'm not sure about Syndra because I didn't prop. Uh, she's not really my itemizer unit, and I haven't really investigated four costs, right? Um, I think that in general, Vanguard is a little bit weaker than Bastion, so I think the Bastions are getting a little bit more of a highlight right now. So, like, or I think Bastion is a little bit better, maybe, like by a little bit. I'm not entirely sure, but um, the Eldritch Beast. It, it seems strong, but in some I don't know if it fizzles out because I have the uh, the augment that strengthens the beast, right? So that makes me in a pretty good spot for it. But yeah, like watch this Elise. Like I, I'll probably lose this fight, and the Elise will still be alive because this guy's Elise three. Yeah. And I only, these items don't even look that great on her. It's not like this is like bis items, right? You know what I mean? I, I've seen Elise with like double titans and it was unkillable for mo most of the game. You know what I mean? Okay, can this guy die already or not? He's just not going to die. He's just holding everything. Oh, well. 
I already hit the unit that he's holding, so that kind of worked out. But it just kind of sucked that I didn't hit the... Uh... I think I'll level here and then roll, because I want a better chance of Briar. Um, I mean, do people have more than thing traits in? Okay, so now I can put in an actual trait. I'm kind of down. Right? I'm trying to keep less traits than everybody else, but I think it's too late. I think I'm already gonna die. Let's roll a little bit. Smolder is blaster. I don't really need it. I don't really need a combat. Time for a Nami, sure. Nila. Yeah. I should check. Is this guy like Giga Frost? I don't even think he's Giga Frost, right? I'm just like way weaker. It might just be a bot, five, bot 4 anyways. Feels bad. Uh, I don't know. Okay, what's well, a top four? This guy is nine frost. Yeah, so he's Giga Frost, right? He has two frost emblems. He made it all the way. So that's why that guy's really strong. So it's going to be hard to compete against him. The last people all have four traits in, and they each have a briar, which is what I'm looking for to fix my board a little bit. So I can play one extra trait, so it's probably going to be... Um, what is this? Encanter? Who's doing the most damage on my board next to this? It's Syndra, right? So I want an Encanter as my last unit. Is there an Encanter that gives me something else? Probably just, probably not. Just like a raw Encanter is probably good here. Three traits, and everybody has more traits than me. Uh, I'll make a Shoujin for you, just because you're doing the most damage. I'm hoping to hit like a 3 cost. There we go. I wanted a Mordekaiser. I think it has 2 range, right? Yeah. And then maybe I can hit a Gwen too, who knows. I have Encanter in, which is fine. Uh, this looks okay, right? This is the Giga Strong guy, right? The fraught, the 10 Frost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. Unless I can just like somehow pull this out of my butt. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, it's okay though. I think the other guy was playing a different line, he was just trying to like hard force it, but like the whole lobby was holding on to Eldritch units without playing Eldritch, so I got really baited into thinking that I was going to be in a good spot. But like everybody was holding on to a, uh, like this guy has a least 3, you know what I mean? And a Briar, right? So I couldn't hit a least, the other guy was holding all the Elises. He's holding on to units that are units that I would have wanted probably, right? And then the other guy was just holding all the Syndra so I didn't hit early. It kind of sucked because I took like all rolling augments. Um, I feel like Eldritch. Mm, I don't think Eldritch is as strong as I thought it would be, but I think that's fine. I think like I had like probably like a best case scenario to hit and I got slightly griefed and I, I went like fourth and this is like PBE. I don't think that it's worth it to reroll all of the units because I feel like even it, like unless you fit in Pyro and you're playing like another carry, if that makes sense. I felt like just playing it kind of like how I did, where it's just like raw vertical was really bad. I feel like the Ash fell off after a while. Syndra, I don't know the exact item build that maybe unlocks her. It's probably like a dual gauntlet. Uh, maybe probably not dual gauntlet, right? And then because I wasn't playing any traits, I felt like I couldn't synergize really well. If I had maybe Nyla 3 with like Bis Nyla items, but I was kind of thinking that I would be able to outcap some people, but... Like, obviously, this guy's way too strong. Look at all his... He has more 3 costs than I do, and I took a rolling augment. You know what I mean? Like, I took Prismatic Ticket, and this guy has more 3 stars than I do. You know what I mean? It's just, like, unfortunate like that. That's what I mean. It's hard to tell. But anyways, hopefully that was fun. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the Eldritch trait, and maybe it was, maybe it was enjoyable.